everybody, and welcome to Know Your PC. I'm Malou. And I'm Bob, and today we're going to talk to you about hardware, devices, and drivers, and why they may or may not be working with your computer. All right, so we're going to demonstrate that with this. Bob loves this. This is the HP TouchMart series, the IQ800, and you can see that it has this nice large screen, 25.5 inches diagonally, mm -hmm. HD and it's optimized for touch. That's right. And this one we're going to talk to you about uh, hardware devices and drivers and making sure they work with your computer. And in the third one we're going to talk to you about the Microsoft System Restore. All right, and that's taking your computer to an earlier time to see if that helps fix the problem. One thing about devices is they may not even work with your PC in the first place because your cables or your connectors just don't match. Okay, so for example, if I want to use a printer with the IQ800 series, I would need a USB cable, okay? That would mean that my printer would have to have a USB cable. Or I could also print wirelessly. That's right. Let's say, for example, that I'm using an old printer and it has a parallel port, all right? Well, a parallel port and USB port do not match, so then I would need an adapter, all right? So you have to have an adapter to make the two work if they don't match or you may not be able to use them at all. That's right. The other reason why your device may not be working with your PC is because of the driver. Now, a driver is a piece of software that you need to use with your PC to make the device work. That's right. All right, so the devices usually come with a CD with a driver on it. You want to install that CD. Also make sure that the driver is compatible with your operating system. For this, we are using the Windows Vista operating system 64-bit. That's right. And if you want to know more information about what your PC's uh, system operation, in particular the IQ800 or IQ500, watch our system information video. So another thing to check on drivers is maybe it's just too old. It's not updated, okay? So you might want to go to the manufacturer's website and check on the drivers and see if maybe there are updates and you need something new. So today we're going to use for our printer the HP PhotoSmart D7260. All right, so we're going to make sure that we're all set to go with the driver. So we're going to go to the HP website. All, all right. right. So we're going to go to hp.com. It's our uh, home page, no big deal. <laughs> now once you get to hp.com, you will see something that says software and driver downloads. Okay, so that's where you would go to check the drivers. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. Clicked. So once you get there, there's a little box where you can enter your product number. So you will put in there D7260. And then you will see the operating systems that you must be compatible with there. And so since we are Vista 64-bit, you've chosen that. Right. And then we have a list of the drivers. And so I see HP PhotoSmart basic drivers. That's the one that we're going to choose. All right, so we're going to download that driver. Click the download button and then you will run the program from there. All right, now for the driver right here, we chose the basic one, so it won't take that long, so it's a little bit smaller. But if we chose the driver and the entire PhotoSmart application, that's a lot of files right there, it would take a little bit longer, so just keep that in mind. All right, so we've done downloading the driver and we've installed it, all right? Now let's say for some reason, you might need to uninstall your driver, all right? Now to uninstall a driver, it's a lot like uninstalling a program, all right? So I'll walk you through that. Go to the upper right hand corner and close this X out. Okay, and then down here you'll see the start button, click that. Okay. All right, now go to control panel and go to programs and click uninstall a program. And hopefully uninstalling the driver is going to allow your other devices to work correctly, all right? Here are all the different programs and drivers that are on your computer, okay? So let's say, for example, that printer driver we just downloaded, is have, we're having an issue with that. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to find uh, the driver that is having an issue with our computer, okay? Okay. So find our HP printer driver. There it is. Okay, good. So you highlighted it and then you click uninstall and change. Right there. Yep. All right, so it's going to ask for my permission to continue. Go ahead and continue. Thank you. All right. Now it's going to prompt me with whether we want to uninstall all HP devices that are installed on the computer or just some. So we're going to choose HP products to uninstall because we only want to uninstall the PhotoSmart. So go ahead and press choose which HP product, the bottom one, and hit next. All right, now choose the top one, which is the HP PhotoSmart printer because that's the driver that we want to uninstall and click continue. So just check on the one you want. That's right. And so now it's going to uninstall the driver that we just installed. And hopefully that will fix your problem. Now we have successfully uninstalled it. Press OK. Okay. Now, let's say you need to reinstall a driver that came with your computer. Let's say you have your keyboard. You know, you want to reinstall the driver to make sure the keyboard is working correctly. I will show you how to do that. So okay. close this out. All right. And now go to the start button there and go to all programs. All right. And under all programs, you want to go to PC help and tools. And under there, we'll go to recovery manager. And you want to press continue to allow it to go. So now we're going to be in our main menu for the recovery manager, and in the lower left corner is advanced options. All right, so go to advanced options, 
and you'll see on the fourth one down it says reinstall hardware drivers that came with your computer. So click that. All right, now go to next. And then this is a welcome to the hardware reinstaller. Okay, next. And now you can scroll down and you can see all the different drivers that come pre-installed on your computer. All right, so you would click down and you would find your keyboard and you would click that, click next, and then it would reinstall uh, your driver and then you would reboot your computer and hopefully your keyboard and computer are talking like nice friends again. All right, so there you have some troubleshooting tips on what to do if your devices aren't working properly with your computer. That's right. If you have any more questions, you could always log on to our website at hp.com support. Or you can watch videos of us at youtube.com slash touchsmart. I hope you guys don't have to deal with this, but if you do, good luck. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. I'm Bob. And I'm Alou.